And welcome everybody to another M07 Productions. Today hey, I'm Charlie. here with you. What? What do you want interrupting my intro? Fuck your intro. Open the door. Oh, fuck you. Today we are back here with you with another Ark Survival. Yeah, I, I know. It's been like forever and a fucking half and he's taken forever on this I intro. Don't. That's a new thing, I think. I don't what, remember what? seeing that. Charlie, are you up? Yeah. No. Hey, Charlie. It's dark. Hi. Yeah, here. I bet you were expecting something, right? What the fuck? Oh, uh, that's not at all what I expected. I mean, it is. I expected something big, definitely, but. Are you trying to kill me? Oh. There was a. Why is. Okay. Why is Steggy and Tri Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, come take a look out here. I yeah, I told you this was going to be a big this. ass yard. I forgot all about this. Yeah. Oh, so, um, what I was talking about is new. Is this guy you here? You have no idea how much time it took me to make this shit. I really don't. So, what I forgot is this guy here. I don't remember this guy. Oh, you mean the Megatherium? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I carried him back using um, Castle in the Sky, and we didn't get to tame him because it was like really, really late. Oh. So I went out and I gathered some giant bee honey, and I fed it to him after knocking. Get off Zolt. You know you're not allowed to ride on Zolt. Why not? Because he's my personal wyvern. Hell, I was going to cryopod him, except the cryopod shattered. Oh, yeah, because we were just talking about that. Yeah. I will yeah. ride Tyrantrum. I can't ride Tyrantrum. Well, oh, yes, I, can. I, guess, I guess I'll ride... Uh, I guess I'll ride the Reaper and all that, because we're going on a walking trip. Oh. Uh, is there something I should ride, then? I mean, depends. Do you want to walk on foot or fly? Uh, is where are we going? What are we walking to? We're going to Green Obelisk. Where was that again? By the way, you should be able to freely level up that Rex now. Oh, the Green Obelisk is... is... Let me see. In that direction. Alright, uh, freely level up the... Rex. Yeah, level up the Rex. Give it all the health and melee it w you want to put on. And melee. Health, melee, stamina, weight, whatever you'd like. I probably should have done some stamina. Yeah. What about Big Tooth down there? Oh, we, we ain't got to worry about Big Tooth. Are we going He's to fight deep. something, or what are we doing? Um... Well, we're not we're not fighting anything, but I, I figured you'd probably appreciate this. I mean, so unless you'd prefer me just fly us there, we gotta walk. I mean, if we're not gonna fight anything, I think I'd rather just take Big Tooth so we don't endanger our, our uh, Raptor. Or even a better idea, we could just fly there instead because okay. Big Tooth will definitely die. Well, then we'll fly. I mean, the Rex is mostly safe, but Big Tooth will most certainly be dead. Who do I want to fly today? Uh, well, for the purposes we're doing, I'd say our best option would be maximum speed. So, obviously, Castle in the Sky is immediately out. Yeah. Let's see if uh, this Tappy can carry us both. Isn't Skybex faster? Skybex is faster, but he can only hold one passenger. Oh. oh, yeah, he can carry us both real easy. I can't get into third person mode while in here. Well, that's because you're made to fire from that seat. But yeah, that's Green Obelisk all the way over there. Why are we going way over there? Uh, that's because that's where the surprise is. I can't say Red Obelisk looks more detailed than usual today. Yeah. Was there some kind was... of aesthetic update I don't know about? No. 
Actually, that last update didn't even affect this ma this map at all. That was all for generations, right? No, it was for Crystal Isles. Crystal Isles. Yeah, Crystal Isles, that map that I barely even played on. I mean, I got a little stone hot on it and three wyverns, that's it. Is... Is Crystal Isles the one that's supposed to have all the maps eventually added to it, or...? No. That's Genesis, ain't it? No. I'm there's, there's, there's not... There's not going to be one gigantic map. Okay. It's going to be a bunch of different smaller maps. Okay. Now, Genesis is basically this simulation that is broken up into five different biomes, each one with their own unique twist and special grade of cancer designed to kill you. Fun. Yeah. And Genesis Part 2 is going to be coming out, well, unless it's delayed due to the coronavirus, um, you know, yeah. sometime December. Yeah, I've actually uh, before I actually got to fighting bosses, which by the way I have actually beaten two bosses. Yeah, you told me that you had. Yeah, but I hadn't on camera. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I hadn't said it on camera that I beat two bosses. You cheated. Yeah. No, no, seriously, <laughs> I did it like completely legit. That's fine because one day we'll make it the aberration. Well, aberration is going to be a whole different animal to this. We we also got to do scorched earth. I'm going to do scorched earth. Well, because scorched earth is a unique form of cancer that I know you would dislike intensely. Very possible because of the whole entire scorched water. earth. It, it, you see. Genesis has a portion on its map that is just sand and volcanoes and big angry things running around everywhere trying to kill you. And Scorched Earth is a lot like that, except it has some of its own unique twists. Like it never yeah. rains. Yeah. And there are electrical storms that can knock out your power grid. Yep. And huge monsters made of rocks. So have you seen what's coming in the next Minecraft update? You said it, Cliffs and Caves. Okay. Well, we haven't talked about it on um, on camera, though. Oh, right. Because um, <laughs> we didn't record last weekend. Yeah. I don't remember what I was doing last weekend. I think you were... Let me see, the weekend before that we did Civ 5. No, we did then... Civ last weekend. Oh, That's what we, we did. did. Was, so we did. We finished Civ 5 last weekend, and this yeah. weekend we were going to do Arc, yeah. Yeah. Cause... Yesterday we couldn't, because the fucking update. Yeah. Okay, so... The update. Unless something has gone terribly, terribly wrong, you're about to see a whole bunch of something suddenly load in, I see a bunch uh, of green right now. The green obelisk. Yep, there oh, we go. Um, oh, um, hi. Why'd you load them here? Well, I left them here because they're Rexes, Charlie. That's okay. their job. Yeah, I know that, but I mean, why not leave them at the red obelisk? Well, because for a start, I didn't fight the bosses at the red obelisk. Oh, uh, so you have to fight them all at the same obelisk, huh? No. No, you can fight them at any obelisk. This one was just closer. I like this one the most. Yeah, well, the tech rexes are actually stronger than normal rexes. For a start, they can actually spawn at level 180, 190. Now... Don't get too uh, don't get too crazy attached to them, Charlie. They're going to be sitting right here. Oh. Yeah. Now I can guarantee you that these Rexes are capable of attacking and killing 
the gamma versions of the brood mother and the gamma version of the megapithecus okay uh, though i will not put that guarantee on the dragon all right so the dragon is a slayer of meeting the eating dinosaurs so, so how, do you, how do you fight something that slays meat something? eaters? Yeah, you get your big fucking herbivore. That's how. What's he not attack herbivores or something? No, um, he just doesn't do as much damage to them. Oh, so we need a bronchiosaurus. No, Bron we can't take that into the. They're probably too big, aren't they? Oh my God, Charlie! What? There's a Rex down here. Oh, is there? Yeah, here, Charlie. Come walk him up for me, would you? Here, come come get on the bird. Get on the bird. I'll take you down. My sensitivity does not feel right. Oh, one of your rings. Yeah. Yeah, here, hop off and... Uh, I'm working. Yeah, go get on him. Yeah, walk him around and get him up top. Do you know how hard this is going to be without falling into the water? Well, first... Well, first, you can swim, Charlie. The thing can swim. Oh, yeah, that's right. I... Yeah, Rexes, Rexes can swim. But I think he can walk up that rock. It can. Yeah, it right. just, it's, I'm just having trouble getting him up the rock. No, Char no, 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 Charlie. There's a yeah, gap. Yeah. You cannot cross that, yeah. You're going to have to go over here. Over there where you're at. Yeah, over here. This path, it takes you up. I just ran over something. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Running over tiny little bitches don't matter. Now watch that thing. Yeah, I was about to say, that thing banks hard. Banks? It doesn't bank at all. He's going to be special. He's going to face the other way. Just, just, don't worry. Just leave him where he, yeah, there. Stop. No, no, don't take him over the edge. <laughs> Do not take him over the edge. I'm trying not to... Look, oh, first, turn he's... off sprinting. I, it, no, I was holding sprinting. He's going to face the other way. Okay, now hop off him. Did it poop? Why are you whistling at me? I'm whistling at him. He was set to following. Charlie, I... Yeah? Yeah, I was... I, I thought they may have been set to neutral. Oh. But yeah, so this is our, basically, collection of temporary boss killer Rexes. And we're gonna fight all the bosses over here. Well, I mean, I could off-camera move them all over to Red Ob, but I don't really see the necessity for that. Yeah. I mean, we're ARC players. We fly everywhere. This is true. And on top of that, I mean, if we were fighting something like, say, the dragon, it may have a stray shot and go and destroy our base. Uh, Charlie, no. I think you misunderstand. Okay. You see, what happens here is you gather all the tames you're bringing into the arena around this metal platform. Yeah. Then I put in the tribute requirements to summon the boss, and once that's done, um... Basically, this dome of energy comes over it, and everything inside of it gets teleported. Okay, okay, so... And then, once the battle is over, if you're dead, uh, if you're dead, everything that came in with you dies with you. And if you're alive, everything teleports out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so this is what I wanted to show you. This was our surprise. Obviously, we don't have the tributes for a boss, but we can at least fight the lowest level ones now. <sighs> and how many do we have to kill to get to the final of this map? Well, to get to the final of this map, we would have to kill the alpha versions of the bosses, which I'm sorry to say are a bitch and a half. I'm sure. Even for a decently sized tribe. So walking here would have taken forever. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know why you insisted we I ride on a T-Rex. I just hopped on the T-Rex to be on him. I didn't exactly want to walk. 
All right, well, so, I mean, walking's half the fun. So, what's the objective for today? Well, I mean, technically speaking, I just gave us a big boost forward. Yeah. Uh, for and things we can use on camera, because it's like, well, I don't want to take a thousand fucking years to, you know, have to breed us up our own Rexes, because God knows it'd take us that long. Mm hmm. Um. Hmm. We could go cave hunting. That went pretty well last time. I, I sense your sarcasm, but <laughs> do remember we are in drastically different circumstances. This is true, and now have a ghillie suit. Well, technically, a ghillie suit doesn't necessarily make you good at cave hunting. I know. Gosh darn, it's hot in this house. <laughs> Put on your ghillie suit. Oh, fuck you. I'm beginning to think you want to. No. Yo, let's go for a low fly for the swamp. I'm just gonna set it to AC. I've had my. Hey, Capro Lucas says, anyone want a Charlie? <laughs> Free Charlie here. Come on, I, ho he's I hope extra you run up to like a. I hope you run up to like a saber tooth or something, a razor bat. No, saber tooths wouldn't be any trouble. The capro will actually pull you off the bird, though. Yeah. And so carry I've... you off into the swamp. Mhm. Mm so I've had my thermostat set to um, auto the last few weeks, or like at least the last two weeks, and I just set a range on my phone of what temperatures to keep it between. Mm -hmm. And no, they, it only lets you set the range so close to each other. So it's 75 degrees currently in the house, which to me is hot. Mm -hmm. I usually keep it around 72. Uh, that's what I just said it, it was 72. I sleep with, with and... it at 71. 71 is sleeping temperatures to me. Hey, look, Charlie, it's a Therizino. Let's park and you can go say hi. You like the tickle chicken, don't you, Charlie? By the way, do realize... Ch Charlie, no, I'm not... No, get on! Get on! Get on now! Now! <laughs> you told me to go say hi. Charlie. Yes. I'm going to kebab you to death. Here, I even have a sword for you to do with. Actually, no. Use the sparkler. It's sharper. It's almost like the old, um, the, um, laser. Neither rod. one of those things are long enough. I need to go tame us a rhino. Yes, but the sparkler would be like the old blaze rods. You remember the blaze rods, right? The old blaze rods? Yeah, from the uh, 18th century guys. Maybe even bullet survival. You mean Pinky's Dilly? The no, that was Mines of Insanity. I'm, I'm talking the your blaze rods that you would threaten me with. Oh, I threatened to beat you to death with blaze rod all the time, but there was functionally no difference between current blaze rods and old ones. Well, yeah, I, I'm, I was I was just saying because you no, know, we used uh, to that used to be one of our. You made it sound like there was a difference. No, 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 it, it just used to be one of our always running um, things, always running. No. And now it's not. Just like I haven't made a pinky's dilly in this one. Oh, so you you want me to viciously beat you to death and abuse you? Uh, actually, you could beat Matthew to death with one next uh, recording session. Get off. That would be in interesting. I should give you a stick with knockback 69. Huh. What, nothing? Mm. So I see our small taming pit. How do we get something into it now? I don't know. 
I'm thinking about that for a second. Maybe we could build some kind of, uh... Ah, oh, shit! Yeah. My ghillie suit broke. Yeah. Well, I mean, what did you think when I shot you with a 700% damage? Oh, fuck. Long neck rifle. <clears throat> I mean, no, but like seriously, where do we ha where do we take things to tame them now? Well, we have a Quetzal now, so only some things that are so big there's no point in dragging them all the way home would be, you know, the problem. As then things like Rexes, things you actually have to tame out in the field. Uh, okay, so. Yeah. Yeah, now that taming, uh, now this taming pen just sort of acts as an airlock between the inside and the out. So I feel like you knocked me out so I can get off the tower without dying. Well, is that what you believe? Uh, well, that's kind of what's happened. I can believe well, that, that, though. I mean, if you were, if you were to all honestly, you know, just take that and say, be like, yeah, yeah, that's exactly why I fucking did it. I would believe you. Well. Ah, shit. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Was it even a contest? Then I spawned at the wrong bed. Did you? Seriously? Yeah. Which bed did you? Our... our smaller base I'll come pick you up I I'm already here no no not the really small one on the on the beach the one that's like right around the corner oh yeah we have a Quetzal so we can pick up basically anything up to a Rex in size True. We just got to be careful with how we aim. Did I ever tell you how the process to tame one of these things is? Tame what things? These. The thing you're on that you're not supposed to make. Well, I'm trying to figure out how to make them dig. Oh, you you don't. Oh, okay. Oh, you do it without being on him. Yeah, the radial wheel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the whole process is you've got to find a female and have her knock you up, which is an extremely difficult process. I think you've told me this before. Yeah. So you want to know something? What? I used to think this door was big. And that these statues were big, and then you built these fucking doors and walls. They're the same kind of doors. This door don't look nearly as big to me. Well, that's because they're farther away, and they're also built right next to each other in a big fucking circle. I mean... Uh, the large bulwarks that I've placed around the edge of it are just for display. I really could have just made it without them. But I thought it would be nice to have some bulwarks. So, is, have we fixed the S doors already? No. But I think we probably could do that. Hold on. Yeah, here. Oh, uh. Oh, damn. 
Hold on. It's it all of a sudden it started raining when you did that. Yeah. There we go. Oh, yay. What? Where, where are you? I'm um, on the roof. Yeah, it's a Charlie on the roof. Let's push him off. This thing's just producing lemon after them. I'm going to fall. <laughs> I'm gonna hurt myself. <laughs> uh oh, Charlie. No. What? Bad, bad Charlie. God damn it. Uh, that was not really the, the right. That was. Where's not... the dung beetle? It's right here. Why? Wow, what I do? It's got no fertilizer. It it just ate it all. It had fertilizer just a second ago. Yeah, it just ate it all because you were taking lemons out of it like it's a damn dispenser. Well, I I thought they were ready, so I was taking them out. Oh, well, Charlie, you got producing gotta... lemons like crazy. Holy crap! Wait, are you putting the lemons back in now? No. Can I? It won't even let me. So, you're telling me 126 lemons just appeared in there? Yes. Hold on, let me try this. I mean, it has been sitting here forever, though. But, like, seriously, try to put a lemon in there. It won't let you. Huh. It, it clearly had overstock and it just wasn't dropping them in. Strange. Here, I'll just put the extra fertilizer in here. Do we have other things to even grow? Yeah, there are tons of seeds. <laughs> here, I'll go put the lemons in the fridge downstairs. I kind of actually ate a handful of them. Yeah, and I kind of just pulled out a gun and shot you in the head. Is there a, like, well, never mind. You I, you yeah. killed me. Yeah, I pulled out a gun and shot you in the head. <laughs> and it was quiet, too. Yeah, it was quiet. Quiet like the grave. I'm just going to spawn that bitch bed. <laughs> okay, I'll plant the other three types of um, plants. Let them grow. There's a fucking dart in, my, in the temple of my head. Yeah. Maybe that's a sign that you should not screw with me. I don't even know what I did to screw with you then. If I do, I've already forgotten. You were born. That's what you did. Uh, don't we have something that cooks meat better than a campfire? Um. Actually, no. I'm just going to freeze it. Makes more sense to, sense to freeze the raw meat. Don't we have that downstairs? I thought we... No? No? We we do not have an industrial grill. Okay, I wasn't sure. Alright, well, until then, I hope y'all have enjoyed this, and we will see you in the next episode. And I've got a oh good bit God, of snack. Are you, are you breaking this up into 15-minute sections like a bitch? Well, 25 minutes, but, I mean, if I don't, you know what happens. No, audio. Really don't. The audio gets so fucked off that it's so out of sync, it's... Un it's unbearable. Mm. But that I'm I'm trying to. That was 25 minutes. So, all right, no. I will be back with my snacks, and we'll see you next time. Bye. And then I'll shoot you.